Can I remind members that if the amendment in the name of Kate Forbes is agreed, the amendment in the name of Paul Sweeney will fall. And the question is that amendment 4815.3 in the name of Kate Forbes, which seeks to amend motion 4815 in the name of Liz Smith on economic priorities, be agreed. And members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed. Point of order, Joe Fitzpatrick. Well, yes, presiding officer. Thank you, Mr Fitzpatrick. We'll ensure that's recorded. The result of the vote on amendment number 4815.3 in the name of Kate Forbes is yes 67, no 55. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore agreed. Therefore, the amendment in the name of Paul Sweeney falls. And the next question is that motion 4815 in the name of Liz Smith as amended on economic priorities be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed. Point of order, Colin Smith. Oh, Apologies, my, uh, my app wasn't working, so I would have voted no. Thank you, Mr Smith. We'll ensure that's recorded. Point of order, Pam Duncan Glancy. Uh, thank you, President Officer. Um, I, my app wasn't working and I would have voted no. Thank you, Ms Duncan Glancy. We will ensure that is recorded. <laughs> Point of order, Co-Cab Stewart. Thank you. It says I have not voted. I would have voted yes. Thank you, Ms Stewart. We will ensure that is recorded. The result of the vote on motion 4815 in the name of Liz Smith as amended is yes 67, no 53. There was one abstention. The motion as amended is therefore agreed. And I propose to ask a single question on four parliamentary bureau motions. Does any member object? No member objects. The final question, therefore, is that motions 
4840 to 4842 on approval of SSIs, and 4843 on designation of lead committee be agreed. Are we all agreed? The motions are therefore agreed. That concludes decision time, and we will move on to members' business.